Twitch is in major trouble, and it couldn't happen to a nicer company. I actually love hearing about this. I, uh, <laughs> I, I think everything that happens on Twitch is pretty much degenerate. Of, of course it is. This is the place that, that made their, their bathtub, hot tub, whatever nonsense, uh, become just basically a, a, a cheaper pornography site. Uh, and <laughs> then you have weird leftist shills saying the craziest things on there as well. Well, oops, uh, it's, uh, it's destroying it and it's, uh, it's going way down the tubes And uh, it couldn't happen to a nicer company, like I said. So let's get into the news in just a moment. Uh, Please smash that like and subscribe button as we talk about all things in pop culture, especially gaming news here. This is my Fandom Pulse substack, guys. And uh, this actually article was written by Gator Gamer from uh, the original Gamergate. And uh, he is contributing to us along with John Trent, who was the editor-in-chief of Bounding Into Comics. So this is your place for pop culture news. We have everything going on here from comics to books to video games to movies and TV. We're coming out with at least, oh, geez, uh, five to ten articles a day. So you won't want to miss this. Sign up in the description below. And, guys, uh, join as a paid member. Uh, One, it lets you leave comments. We we have some articles behind paywalls. And, of course, uh, we do need your support. We are doing this full time. So thank you very much uh, for helping us pay our contributors. So here is what we got. uh, And we don't rely on ads because we know we know what happens when you do. Um, Twitch creators woke up to a surprise this past week. They discovered advertising revenue generated by their channels was significantly lower than expected. Some reported decreases as high as 95%. It's now been revealed that by Richard Lewis that more than 10 companies have opted out of advertising on Twitch, dealing a major blow to the platform. Uh, and CEO Dan Clancy himself is in hot water over perceived favoritism of his handling of Hassan Piker's comments and frequent rule breaking on the platform. Pretty big. This is a huge deal, guys, uh, because this is a platform where uh, you know the the gaming elites, the leftist elites, really have propped up. And it's something, again, that's failing. You get woke, go broke every single time. Neon on Clownfish pointed out, saying a lot of the advertisers are fleeing from the platform. Weirdly enough, a lot of advertisers that thought X was toxic months ago are all going back to X. They're giving Elon Musk their money because they know the people are there. And I think that's probably more going on behind the scenes at Twitch than the general public is aware of. I cannot see Amazon keeping this alive for much longer. Now, Amazon runs this platform like they run a lot of stuff, and that's been part of the weird situation over there because Amazon is such an evil company. We know that uh, all the way up and down the board. But yes, uh, earlier this year, we saw that Disney and other companies were pulling out of advertising on X. Well, guess what? They're back. Uh, One, I think they just did that uh, for the election to try to just like make uh, X a softer platform for the election uh, because they they were trying to push the woke agenda through Kamala Harris. Now that they realize that's over and this is this is it, uh, they, they, they just immediately came back, right? So pretty obvious what was happening over there. But now they're pulling out of these spots like Twitch where they're not going to be making money anymore. Um, It's largely been a platform where the politically connected are able to skirt the rules and do whatever they want without punishment. Uh, Grums points out uh, on X that Denim's TV placed a $30,000 bounty on him. Yeah, I, gosh, I forgot about this. There's been so much that's gone on this year. Yeah, they, they were trying to off Grums just for reporting on video games, and Twitch ignored it. Uh, Denim's, Hassan Abi, and the crew say even more extreme things, and yet Twitch does nothing. With Twitch having ignored the problems of its well-connected creators, blatantly violating the terms of service with impunity for so long, it was inevitable that one or more of them would go too far. Twitch has now been forced to change his policy on handling political content because of numerous controversies surrounding Hassan Piker and his political allies. It definitely comes from Hassan a lot. He claimed the United States, quote, deserved 9-11 in discussion with uh, House of Representatives uh, uh, AOC, blamed former and soon-to-be President Donald Trump for, quote, the terrorist attack in southern Israel last year. It's insane. Uh, he said terrible stuff, and, uh, and this is really uh, all the craziness. So um, there's a lot more going on the, on there, and you could see how the double standards are held. We remember what happened with Asmongold just a few days uh, ago, I guess a couple weeks ago now, uh, where you know he said a thing. Basically, he didn't care about the Palestine conflict. Uh, he should have stopped there, but he you know he went a little too far uh, in just uh, explaining why he doesn't care about it, and uh, he was uh, banned from the platform on his uh, on, on his alt account there. Very, very big situation that was happening like there. So when Asmongold says stuff like that, uh, but Hassan does not get in trouble, it's pretty obvious on what happens on this sort of thing. 
So uh, the, one of the FaZe Clan members actually went uh, off on the ad apocalypse here saying his ad revenue went from $10,000 plus at some point to a day now to like 2000 a day. So he he got he got flipped. Uh, now, wow, I, I wish I wish we could make 2000 a day over here. Jeez. Um, so from someone who was making upwards of five figures a day now making $2,000 a day off ad revenue, something's wrong. Something's going on where my ad revenue is not correct and what it should be. If you, I, if I want to make two thousand dollars a day, I'll be a effing mailman. Wait, <laughs> uh, hate to break it to you, bro. Uh, I don't, I don't know that mailmen make that that kind of money either. Jeez, um, the average postal worker makes around at sixty five thousand dollars a year. Thank you uh, for pointing that out. These people are so out of touch, and when they get these like little privileged positions like this, where they're getting uh, crazy pay for very little work, you can just see how they flip out once that becomes something that's not sustainable. Now. Again, this is why it's very important not to rely on different platforms and things like that, especially unreliable ones like YouTube. This is why we're writing our articles on Fandom Pulse. I, I've already been copyright struck uh, un unfairly and falsely on this channel twice this year. Very, very possible this channel will go away, guys. If you want to make sure you are with me and, uh, of course, are uh, uh, going to stay with me uh, and, and my outlets through here, please subscribe on Fandom Pulse. We don't want to have to rely on advertising revenue to survive here. This is why we rely on gamers like you and people like you, viewers like you, because this is it. The model of direct contributions is is way, way, way more important uh, than being on this. It's a, it's a huge lesson for any platforms out there. So grab that membership on Fandom Pulse Substack, guys. This is like, this is this could happen on YouTube just as easily just as easily. So Richard Lewis actually said on Substack and broke the news saying 11 significant companies have ceased advertising on Twitch in the wake of the political controversy. According to sources familiar with the dealings of Twitch, a number of significant companies have paused their advertising and spending on the streaming platform. The meetings were said to have come as a direct result of the allegations of anti-Semitism and featured representatives on the concerned companies, Twitch executives and Amazon executives. Uh-oh. The companies were upset by Twitch's apparent handling of the meeting, with some telling Lewis they believed that Twitch deliberately attempted to downplay the situation and that even executives of the parent company Amazon were alarmed by Dan Clancy's lack of seriousness on the matter. Uh, of the 11 companies, Chevron was named specifically in the report. Lewis alleges that Chevron was specifically incensed by a panel at TwitchCon in September, where members of the panel ranked other Twitch creators in what's being called a racial tier list, with the top being Arab and the lowest being Love Sabra in brands of hummus owned by PepsiCo and Israeli company Strauss Group. <clears throat> Chevron's logo could be seen as an advertiser in the background. Oops. Along with Capcom and Samsung. Oh, boy. Following the Asmin Golden Hassan Piker debate over Israel Gaza war and the increased scrutiny of Twitch, all members of the panel, including Frogan, would receive suspension from the platform. The journalists rushed to the defense of the panel, including the serial internet law cow Alyssa Mercante, our good friend. Uh, according to a Lewis's source, companies want to see major changes out of Twitch before they return to the advertising platform. Some see it as covering up a problem rather than addressing it, so they're not coming back to the platform, and something more direct happens. Wow. Uh, Clownfish TV says the advertising model is unsustainable, and I, I believe the same thing. Uh, they think the next create phase for the creator economy, you're going to have to have direct support. You're going to have to be able to sell stuff, probably going to have to paywall. You cannot depend on advertising on these platforms. And I 100% agree. So we actually went through this ourselves on a way because I ran Fandom Pulse as a regular website, was getting some Google ads on it, and Google just turned off ads on us uh, in April. And it was in the wake of the Sweet Baby Inc. controversy. We were talking about it, and we were going from hundreds of thousands of impressions to zero. It was not just like a few. It was zero. It was not our stories or anything like that. Google turned us off and we weren't able to do it. And like I said, I've got a couple copyright strikes over here. Uh, they were false ones. I was just reporting the news and companies like Catalyst Game Labs, who runs Battletech, and of course, uh, the people who run Warhammer 40K over at Games Workshop uh, are really, really mad about my reporting over here. So they want to shut us down. They want us not to be able to survive. And that's why we've moved St. Phantom Pulse over here. Now, John Trent, who used to run Bounding Into Comics, as I mentioned before, uh, suffered the same sort of deal. Bounding Into Comics was bought by a corporation 
Corporation, and uh, they wanted to, of course, uh, appease advertisers as well, and they asked him to tone down his articles and the like, and he said, no, I won't be censored. So he's come over and joined us on the Substack as well. So this is it. We need your support, guys. Please get on the Substack. Uh, even as a free member, you get to see our content, most of it. And as a paid member, it really supports us a lot. This is so important in the wake of what's going on with Twitch. Like I said, it could happen here. It could happen anywhere else. We need this direct uh, stuff so that we can continue to report the news honestly that nobody else will. Um, and this is the this we're the ones that YouTubers use, guys. Uh, as much as our my channel's uh, only forty five thousand subscribers here, John Trent's around ten thousand subscribers. Like the quartering, Yellow Flash, uh, Smash JT, Vera Dark, all these people use uh, even Clownfish use our articles, which I am happy they do. Um, as the sources for things. So <laughs> it, it, we need the support to keep going, and we appreciate you for being there. Leave a comment with what you think about Twitch. Thank you guys so much, by the way. Uh, it's been a tremendous first couple of weeks with John Trent and I just crushing it here on Fandom Pulse. Uh, and uh, we will uh, we'll tell the truth about Twitch, uh, despite uh, all their craziness over there. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.